Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about programmable read-only memory, PROM. So PROM stands for Programmable Read-Only Memory. Programmable Read-Only Memory. So Programmable Read-Only Memory, it's a type of programmable logic device. Okay, there are three types of programmable logic devices, programmable array logic, programmable logic array and the third one is programmable read-only memory. So, programmable read-only memory in this, the design is again consisting of AND gates followed by OR gates. But, here the AND gates are having fixed AND array. This PROM has fixed AND array. That means, once the AND gates are connected, they cannot be changed. That means it is nothing but a decoder. It is nothing but a decoder. So, in PROM, first stage is a decoder. Remember, in PROM, the design consisting of a decoder in the first stage. And again, the second stage is programmable, programmable or array programmable or array okay so that's why PROM consists of decoder followed by or gates anyway you say anywhere you see the diagram of a PROM it consists of a decoder followed by or gate okay uh, suppose suppose if you are having 8 by 3 size for example PROM has a size of has a size of 8 by 3. PROM has a size of 8 by 3. Means, it means, 8 means 2 power 3. 2 power 3. So, it has 3 inputs. It has 3 inputs, comma, 8 by 3. 3 here, the outside 3 specifies 3 outputs. 3 inputs and 3 outputs. Suppose if it is 8 by 4, 8 by 4, then it is 3 inputs and 4 outputs. 3 inputs and 4 outputs. 8 by 5, 3 inputs and 5 outputs. Suppose if it is 16 by 4, 16 by 4, then it is 4 inputs and 4 outputs. 16 by 3, 4 inputs and 3 outputs, like that. Okay, here the first term is the Otherwise, you can say, first term is the output of decoder. First number specifies the output lines, number of output lines, the number of output lines of a decoder. According to that, we can identify how many number of inputs are there. Suppose 8 output lines are there. What is the size of the input uh, decoder? 3 to 8 decoder. That's why 3 inputs are there. Hope you understand how, we, how I uh, can say 8 means 3 inputs. Okay. And similarly, second number. Second number specifies the number of output lines of PROM here the number of outputs of PROM okay if you go with an example you can understand how we are doing that so example problem realize the following functions realize the following functions Realize the following functions using a PROM of a size 8 by 3 of a size of 8 by 3. So the following functions are f1 is equal to summation of m of 0, 4, 7. And F2 is equal to summation of M of 
वन थ्री सिक्स एफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ एम ऑफ वन टू फोर सिक्स ओके हियर नंबर ऑफ इनपुट्स इज नॉट मेंशन एनीवेयर रिमेंबर सी क्लियरली हियर नो वेयर इट इज मेंशन हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ इनपुट्स दैट दिस पीरोम हैज दैट वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई एज आई सेड बिफोर एट बाय थ्री मेंस एट मेंस number of output lines of a decoder number of output lines of a decoder a to outputs has three inputs because it is 3 to 8 decoder 2 power 3 is equal to 8 okay otherwise you can also identify uh, how, what is the maximum number among all these uh, functions maximum number is 7 see maximum number is 7 so maximum number 7 comes in only three inputs three inputs so abc will give you maximum number triple one that is also another way okay so the number of inputs of p rom is equal to 3 and number of outputs is equal to 3 number of outputs how we have identified it is given already see number of outputs is already given so How many number of R gates are required? Number of R gates is equal to three. Number of outputs is equal to number of R gates. That is equal to number of outputs given. That is equal to three. So number of outputs equal to number of R gates equal to three. Okay. Now, as I said, the first stage is a decoder. So always the first stage is a decoder in the PROM. Followed by the second stage is R array. R array. Okay. Here, here its size is three by eight, and it is eight lines with three outputs. Okay. I am drawing the P. Uh, sorry, P ROM logic. P ROM logic diagram. here no need to go with the k maps because the decoder will give you the corresponding output see why we are going to the decoder is decoder is a function of and gates decoder is a function of and gates it will give you the corresponding product term as output okay uh, 3 to 8 decoder so eight outputs are there 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, and three inputs are there. So A, B, C. Eight outputs are there. So eight outputs are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. See zero means what do you mean by zero? If you are uh, replacing these decoder with its AND gates, then this zero is nothing but it's a uh, three input AND gate like A bar, B bar, C bar, and it is A bar, B bar, C, and two means A bar, B, C bar, like that. That means zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero, double one, like that. Triple one, up to triple one, we are taking. Hope you understand why this decoder is helping us to generate these product terms. Okay, and uh, and how many number of R gates are required? The number of outputs. So nothing but three R gates are there. So draw a vertical line. Draw a vertical line. Now, f1 function, f2, f3. f1 where it is given 0, 4, 7. So just cross 0, 4, 7. And f2, 1, 3, 6. f2 is 1, 3. 
and 6 f see this p rom design is very easy just identifying the size of the decoder is a little bit uh, important if you are once identify the decoder size the rest of the thing is very easy and f3 is 1 2 4 6 f. 1 2 4 6 f and 6 that's it okay so this is what a PROM design PROM design is very easy compared to earlier PLE and PAL designs it doesn't even have a table also like a PLE table and PAL table just identifying the decoder size and constructing the decoder followed by number of R gates number of outputs is equal to number of R gates okay if you are directly given with the values like this uh, min term values all these min terms you are just directly mentioning them in the uh, fuses okay thank you